is from the mad house stories, powerful, profound, and raw, by D. Victris J. Barrent. And this is Harlem. I am a Harmonite, and through my eyes, Harlem is on his church on Sunday mornings with some manner of music playing on the side. Harlem is a place where many don't run free. Harlem is in my blood, is what unites the fire in me. Harlem is a place that few are bored. Harlem is a place you can see the stories while finding what you're sh- shopping for. Books and poets. I don't want to hear it because I already know it. Harlem is Marcus Gravy, P- Gravy Park. It's unspoken words after dark. Harlem is music and art. Street dancers looking for a start. Colin Greens and Black Eyed Peas so often cooking in our pots. It's a pecking order of who is important and who is not. Harlem is 135th Street, where every train and bus and city stops. It's choice attraction for risk or reaction, opinions and gossip, a home of the hustler. Tank tops and lots of muscles. Harlem is violent, a vibe. It's African garb, a raster man with the best Irish moss. A grand sense of pride that can get you killed or sent you upstate over a five dollar bill. It's big earnings, the big scarves. Big earrings, the big scarves. It's America's top chef selling the tastiest food right on the sidewalks. Highland is small talk, a big conserv- conservation. conservation. Is a core of every Harlem H education. If you can't afford something, you'll find an imitation. Harlem is a place of prose curiosity, ferocity, where dreams can come come true, and dreams can be lost. It's a nasty attitude when gentrifiers arrive, a rising of rents, forcing many residents to sleep on a park bench. Harlem is an unforgiving streets of greed and thirst. A young brothers and sisters carried away in a hearst. Well, some have built their wealth and fame, and some earned a street sign with their name. Harlem is the oversaturation of the NYPD, only present on certain streets whose faces are familiar to all. And so many residents are afraid to make a 911 call. So many relying on steel to handle their squabbles. Children playing adult games instead of tossing marbles. It's pork rinds and vegetarians. It's Catholic pastors and judgmental pescetarians. It's a bus ride to Washington, D.C., Atlantic City and amusement parks. It's profiling across the street after dark. It's my, my mother wondering when her number is going to hit. It's wondering if we can buy just a little bit of it. So flipping 50 cent, cent, cent into a dollar. So geez, rocking play, playboys and mock neck sweaters. Friday night fish fry signs posted over the mailboxes. The sounds of babies crying in the halls. Some are just cranky, and some haven't eaten at all. Some people have already left, and some people are staying. But if you ever, but if you ever taste a piece of Harlem, it will forever remain on your palate.